And uh, congratulations to both those GB Championship teams. Obviously very exciting. And from, from champions to another champion, back-to-back, -back, Colton Kalkanis uh, joins us in studio, the uh, collegiate uh, champion back-to-back -back years in, uh, at Georgian College. Uh, Colton, congratulations. Uh, shot 15 under in three rounds last week in Quebec. What a feeling that must have been. No, yeah, for sure. Um, biggest win this year. I was uh, grinding coming into the year. I was up and down the first couple of events, but uh, managed to hang, hang in there. Do you, think, do you think you had the advantage going in? Uh, obviously, previous champion. Uh, did you feel a little bit of pressure on yourself going to that tournament? To be honest, I didn't. Um, I thought I thought I would step in. I think the th nervous I was was on the first tee, and then it was just kind of cruise control from there. <laughs> I wasn't uh, I wasn't thinking a lot. That's for sure. I, I gotta. I mean, uh, you had a, an outstanding regular season, if you want to call it that, of the college year. You ended up coming second at the uh, the OCA championships. I mean, you're not supposed to finish top five every single week. You <laughs> won, I think, twice, or and were top five almost every time. How do you how do you put it the consistency together in these events? I mean, you don't see that in golf too often. That's true. Um, no, just just tons of practice this year. I think I practiced more than I played, which was a huge uh, huge upgrade for me. Um, it's just practice. You just got to put in the work. Now, 15 under par in three rounds. You came out, shot uh, 468, were tied for the lead, backed it up with another 68, mm. and I, I believe had a three-shot lead, four-shot lead? Five-shot lead, Five-shot yeah. lead uh, at eight under at that point, uh, which, you know, is fairly safe, but then you go out and you, you shoot four under on the front nine, end up shooting seven under in your third round and, and blow away the field by ten strokes. Uh, what were you thinking on day three or heading into day three? Um, I've been talking with a couple buddies about that, like coming into day three, they were all saying you shouldn't, not you shouldn't be playing it safe, but in my mind, I, w I don't think I was ever going to play just for pars. I was going to play, uh, almost play catch up like I needed to, uh, like I needed something to prove. And uh, I went out there and I said to myself, if I could shoot three rounds in the 60s, then, uh, then I could definitely, somebody would have to do something special to beat me. <laughs> no kidding. What a mentality to, with the lead to yeah, go after it. Definitely. And because this was also a team event too, right? You guys have uh, Georgian College uh, players going with you. So mm -hmm. what, did it make it a little bit different going to that final round saying, all right, I'm also playing for the team as well as myself? Oh, you're always playing for the team first. In my mind, you're always playing for the team first, individual second. Um, yeah, we, we had a little bit of a climb to climb the last, uh, on the last day, going into the last day. Um, we went... Uh, we were actually in third place going into the back nine, um, and then I guess a little bit of nerves kicked in with the team, but uh, I just tried to finish as, as strong as I possibly could to put ourselves in, in contention. Coached by Katie Ferguson, who won Coach of the Year again in Ontario for the golf team, and uh, some great teammates I'm sure you'd like to mention, and uh, you know a group that are obviously pretty close together. Yeah, we had, uh, like I was telling all the guys this week, um, Alex Clayton, Sterling, and Mike, um, I was saying that uh, we need to keep things light, and they, they, they definitely have that mindset, and they're a great group of guys. We all get along great together. Um, and yeah, it was, just, it, was, it, was just, it, was, it was more about having fun this week than anything, and they uh, definitely brought it. What's next for, uh, for Colton Kalkanis? I know you've been working hard with Jim Selnick at the Berry Country Club. Uh, two years in a row now, you've won the collegiate yeah. championship. What's left there? <laughs> I mean, what are, what are your thoughts? Obviously, some decisions to make. Yeah, I've definitely, uh, turning professional is, is, um, has crossed my mind. Um, I've been trying to, the last couple of years, get into a school uh, in the States to provide uh, more practice for the year. Um, but now that uh, this, these, these numbers have come around, my coach Jim has, uh, has said that this might be a game changer. So uh, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to discuss that and uh, see where it goes from there. Obviously uh, exciting stuff. Uh, have you ever put three rounds together like that? <laughs> Maybe not in competition or competition, or is that the best three ever? Uh, not my best three, but I've definitely, uh, I've definitely never... <laughs> three days in a row? Three days in a row. <laughs> never, never, been, never been as solid as, uh, and level-headed as that. Pretty awesome stuff. And obviously tough to take out negatives in this one, but is there anything you uh, wanted to do better in your game? <laughs> um, 16 under. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Minus 16 would have been good. No, uh, I definitely felt my, my putting was definitely struggling coming into this week, and uh, the first day, I know 68, but I was I was definitely struggling with uh, with the flat stick, but um, just just, stay, just gotta stay patient and, and no fall. All right, great playing, Colton. Uh, congratulations once again. Two-time Canadian champion Colton Kalkanis at Georgian College. Stay with us, tons more on SCS.